I had a big trigger about uh, taking loans out for my uh, law firm. You know, this was 2018. I was going through a divorce. It was like, it was a real strain on the finances. And I ended up taking some money out of a line of credit that I almost forgot that I had for a short period of time, but it was terrifying for me. It was like a terror barrier. It was like a no-no. It was a rule that I could never break, right? And that had come across from my folks who said, you know, were entrepreneurs themselves, and they said that, you know, any business owner that has to take money out of a, you know, a credit line or something to run the business, they're failing as a business owner and they have no business, it's shameful. They should shut the business down and, and leave. And I was really thinking of doing that. It was an actual, I was highly considered, you know, maybe I can't cut it as a law firm owner. Maybe I should go work for someone else and, you know, make half the money that I make or something and you know work twice as much maybe that's more reasonable like can you hear can you see as a third party looking into my subconscious can you see how fucking ridiculous I was being you know seriously and and I say this with love you know for myself and and, and for you I think that you we need to watch our own triggers with compassion right and understanding so that the first step is not accusations. It is silly, it is ridiculous, yes, but you know, shaming ourselves and guilting ourselves more and more is not gonna help anything. That's just gonna increase the, the downward spiral and make it worse, okay? What we really need is compassion first. We need to tell ourselves, hey, it's okay that you have this reaction that is like unreasonable. That's okay. You have that for a reason. When you were a child or whenever you laid down this, this you know, habitualized pattern of thought and reaction, uh, you needed it. So it was dangerous for me to talk about money, right? It was dangerous for, for me to expose the fact that, uh, you know, I was like overweight for my age. You know, um, that that got me a lot of I was ostracized from my society, which was very scary. I was called out. I was shamed. I was bullied even. Right. But but now in in 2022, I'm safe. I, I'm safe to talk about money. I'm safe to expose the fact that, you know, I I was fat or even if I, you know, gained a bunch of weight, I would be safe. I'm not going to get bullied. I'm not going to get exiled from my you know, middle school cultural family and group of friends, I'm not going to get bullied. My life is not at risk, although my subconscious is reacting as if my life is threatened. Does that make sense? So triggers are there to save us. And I think we need to see it with compassion in order to replace that coding with some coding that makes more sense for the current environment, the current conditions.